just out here with a customer with a class Lexi in which we fitted a farm TRX yield monitor and moisture sensor to. Um, so the moisture sensor comes in its own box. So it's um, it's a moisture sensor which goes onto the bottom of the door on the clean grain elevator. So what we actually do is we remove the door. We remove the door on the clean grain elevator. And we actually take a piece out of the cover and then any of the grain that's going up the clean grain elevator into the tank will rub against the moisture sensor and gives us a moisture reading in the cab. Um, it's a Bluetooth moisture sensor which connects to the tablet which we have in the cab or your phone. Um, so you can have it connected through the Bluetooth. So it's quite simple really. We're just drilling out a hole in the cover, bolting it on there. Our harness is running up here along the side of the machine and runs up into the cab where we have a farm TRX, um, sort of an ECU or a, a controller in there which collects all the information from the moisture sensor. Um, we then have our farm TRX yield monitor. In here we have our cabling, we have two sensors and we have our um, farm TRX ECU which uh, collects all the information up in the cab. So what we do is we can fit these to any machine that has a clean grain elevator from old to new. So the grain your system is coming up the clean grain elevator into the tank and what we're actually doing is measuring the grain coming up the paddles into the tank. So we have two sensors up here. We have a, a sender and a receiver and we, we actually drill a hole in the side of the clean grain elevator um, and, and on the far side as well and the two sensors are reading off each other um, we try to keep it in the centre of the paddles and as the grain is coming up the clean grain elevator we're reading the grain on the clean grain elevator um, it's important to have the, it up as high as we can um, we don't want any grain falling down the paddles we want to get the best reading possible uh, it's important the paddles are in good condition the clean grain elevator chain is kept tensioned and in good condition um, because that could affect your reading as well when we fit them, we calibrate the system after fitting it um, and, and we go from there. So we have a farm TRX yield monitor, uh, sort of ECU or box. We bolt this in the cab. Um, this needs to be powered, so we take a 12 volt power from, from, from a source in the cab. Um, we have a little antenna cable as well because we run a little patch antenna on the roof. The patch antenna gives um, our yield data um, a location in the field. Um, we didn't have a tablet, we, we fitted a quite a large tablet in this machine here on a RAM mount. Um, the tablet then will display all our yield information. So we have our live harvesting information here. When we start harvesting we get our moisture reading. Um, we'll also get our yield per acre, tons per acre, we can change the units. We get our travelling speed and we can get our total weight. Um, we can enter which crop we're harvesting. This customer here has been harvesting peas. Um, he's also harvested barley, oats, oilseed rape. Um, we've put in the width of our header. Um, this all has a, an effect on, on the yield. Um, we didn't have a cloud sync option. So what happens here is all the data on the machine that's come through onto our farm TRX um, yield monitor. The data then we can see it through Bluetooth on our um, tablet. We then, through Bluetooth and through an internet connection, we can sync this data um, through to our laptop. So once we press sync here, this will then come through onto the desktop in the office where we can um, we, we can look at our yield maps. So the data download now is completed. So we've synced all the data that's on our yield monitor up onto the cloud now so we can press complete. So there's no data um, ready to sync at the moment. Um, what we'll do now is we'll go back and have a look at what this data looks like when it's uh, back on our um, display or on our computer. So this is logged into the farm TRX portal now um, where we can see the yield data. This is a field of wheat where this customer um, actually harvested earlier in the year. Um, you can see that the yield maps come through. Um, you can see it's quite low around the headlands here. Um, what we have the option of doing here as well is if you collect the total yield for, for your field um, weighed over the weigh bridge, you can go in and edit this yield data afterwards. So what we can even do here now is we can um, we can click on our settings button and we can go update total yield data. So you can see for this total field there was 96.56 tonnes measured. We can actually edit this, for example, if, if there was actually 105 tonnes harvested and put over the weighbridge out of this field, 
we can put in 105 tonnes and once we apply this that will apply it to the yield maps or a total yield map for the field will actually be um, changed based on this new yield so it will increase our, our, our areas uh, across the field likewise if the yield was less we could put in a lower yield here um, and again we can apply that and that will change our yield map so it's a good software on um, for converting our yield maps back to an actual if you don't have time to be calibrating day to day when you're in the field.